One of the skills that we're going to make a lot of use of is recognizing some facts about the slope of a line just by looking at the line. The first thing that we need to talk about is what the sign of the slope tells us. That is, what it tells us when the slope is positive or negative. Now, if the slope is positive, that means that when we go one unit to the right, we have to go upward to stay on the line. So here are some examples of lines with positive slopes. As we go from left to right along such a line, we think of ourselves as going uphill. We say, this line slopes upward. That means that when we go one unit to the right, we have to go downward to stay on the line. So the line might look like this, or steeper and look more like this. We say that this line slopes downward. Now notice I've referred to positive and negative. I haven't said yet what slope zero means. We'll see that in the next video. There's more that we can tell by looking, though, than just the sign of the slope. We can also tell something about how big or how small a number it is. Now, what I'm about to tell you only applies when the horizontal and the vertical units are the same size. When we're measuring our horizontal distance in the same units as we're measuring our vertical distance. On a coordinate plane, then, it only applies when the x and the y-axis have the same labels. But it turns out that that happens pretty much of the time, so this is still very useful. It's just that if you give your x and your y-axis different scales, be aware that this no longer applies. These are the lines that have slope positive 1 and negative 1. If I have a slope that's more than 1, or negative and less than negative 1, then I expect my line to be steeper than this. Now how do we recognize a number that's more than 1 or less than negative 1? Well, they're going to be the integers, all except for 1, 0, and negative 1, and the improper fractions. Remember, we can tell a fraction is improper if its numerator is more than its denominator, or exactly the same. But we call it improper because it represents at least one whole thing. So if our slope is either an integer that's more than 1 or an improper fraction, we expect our line to be steeper than these sort of base lines. If I have a slope that's less than 1 and also more than negative 1, my line will be shallow. It'll be less steep than slope 1 or slope negative 1. It'll be closer to being a horizontal line. How do I recognize a number that's between 1 and negative 1? Those are the proper fractions. Remember, we can recognize a proper fraction because its numerator is smaller than its denominator. That means the rise is smaller than the run. We're going to have a shallow line. And that can be useful because one common mistake in calculating the slope is switching the rise and the run with each other. If you're used to looking at a line and saying, is it a steep line or is it a shallow line? Therefore, do I expect my slope to be more or less than 1? You'll immediately catch that mistake. It'll be immediately visible to you as a mistake. Now, there's a more general fact about how big or how small is the slope that even applies on different scales. Even if the horizontal and vertical distance are on different scales, the further the slope is from zero, the steeper the line will be.